Police officers, firefighters, and paramedics all raced toward the danger to save lives on 9-11, and now they're fighting for their own. A fund set up to compensate those first responders now battling cancer is about to run out of money. Reporter Elsa Gillis spoke with a survivor in Charlotte about the importance of that fund. Police officer Scott Gaines. Police officer Anthony Giambria. Those are 47 names being read aloud. 47 fallen officers that NYPD added to their police memorial today. All of them died in recent years from 9-11 related illnesses. So we know that we'll all be back here next year and the year after that and on and on, filling up those walls as our losses from September 11th continue to mount. The NYPD commissioner also wrote about in an op-ed to ABC News today, urging Congress to renew funding for the 9-11 Victims Compensation Fund. Charlotte resident Kathleen Britton, who survived 9-11, know the list is growing and continue to hear of people dying. It doesn't ever go away. It's something you live with and hope you don't die from. She says the fund covered her for basal cell carcinoma in the past. In 9-11's long aftermath, first responders and workers poured through the rubble and people like Kathleen lived nearby, she described, surrounded by toxic materials and fumes. When it was cloudy and, and damp like a day like today, the fumes, it was unbearable. We were told after the event that the air was safe. She says today serves as a reminder that it wasn't, and those who risked their lives that day and in the days following September 11th need to be taken care of. These people rushed in to help those who were in trouble with little to no regard for their own safety because they saw thousands of people in trouble. Elsa Gillis, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. 9-11 remains the single biggest killer of officers in the nation's largest police force. Just last year, 15 more officers died of cancers related to the attacks. And today their names, along with 32 others who died in recent years, were added to that memorial wall in New York.